I'm here with John Fort, obviously at the Phoenician in Scottsdale, Arizona, uh, day two of the Code Conference. Day one was pretty fascinating, and it got even more interesting uh, last night. We've talked about Facebook's uh, chatted here, uh, Twitter, and of course, yesterday, Netflix. Cindy Holland, the VP of Original Content, with an echo of a point that Netflix has made for a long time, and that is, if you're an artist, if you're a creative, uh, come to us, and you can have all the freedom you want. You can make episodes to your heart's content. And yesterday, expanded on that point by saying it also applies to artists internationally. Take a listen. We want to entertain the world, so we need to have a lot of artists come join us. From the very beginning, we wanted to create an environment that was freeing and not stifling. It's part of our own corporate culture, freedom and responsibility. And you hire smart people, you give them the right support, and then you, you know, let them uh, do their work. And we've extended that to the folks that we work with in the creative side, and I think to really good results, you mm -hmm. know. And also, I think a lot of the industry operates in a culture of fear, mm -hmm. and we don't. Yeah. So we're not afraid to try a bunch of different things, some of which may work, some of which may not. Um, and it's part of our culture to, to embrace mistakes and failure and learn something from it, you know, corporately. And we want to encourage our artists to just really reach for that thing they really have been dying to do. You gotta love shade between streaming services, John. Absolutely, and um, you know, actress Natasha Lyonne was great too. You recognize her from Orange is the New Black and she's got Russian Dolls, um, a, a new project on Netflix also. But what I thought was most interesting about that session, I asked Natasha, does she want more data from Netflix, from these services about exactly what people like what they don't like, where they stop watching, what they go back and view again. And, you know, she, she was saying, well, maybe if I can decide when I get the data, how much I get, uh, there's this interesting relationship going on with these services and data. And that connects to some of what Mary Meeker was also saying yesterday when she was saying that overall global Internet user growth has topped off. Um, it's growing a bit, but not like it was. And so now the game is more the players uh, with the best data are trying to use that to gain share. And I, I started to question with Netflix yesterday just how much they are using that data in the granular decision making because they seem to be saying, no, we're really just going with artists and we're going with gut so much. And maybe they're making data based decisions on what to cancel. But everybody does that. Right. Yeah. Well, that, I mean, that ties into Google Looker and Salesforce Tableau. I was struck by the same thing the list of things that are not shrinking but slowing from meeker internet user growth uh, internet market cap uh e-commerce growth believe it or not mm -hmm. and internet ad spend all of those things not again 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 after years of torrid growth smaller growth rates and that's why people are looking for ways to uh improve the efficiency of some of these things and it goes to amazon's story of pushing on uh, one day delivery trying to get people to buy more to rely more on the service it's more it seems to me of an engagement story versus a market expansion story uh, something else that I, I found interesting Ev Williams was on uh, talking mostly about medium of course this is a, a founder of Twitter a lot of what he was highlighting about medium is how it's different from Twitter not trying to be a global platform uh, some pretty strict content moderation on you know who can be a part of it who's not a part of it how they kick people off um, there's this sort of defensiveness of winners. And uh, even among some of the people who, are, like Ev, have won in the past, maybe a shift toward a different tack of what's important. Interesting. Uh, yesterday, of course, you know, we've had all these big tech names present. But I, I pointed out in the nine how interesting it is that two of the highlights yesterday were the CEOs of an airline and Delta's Ed Bastian. We'll hear from him later today. And Goldman's David Solomon. He's all, we always say software is eating the world, the old line from Andreessen. But before it does that, it has to stop at code. Yeah, and the CEO of Goldman giving advice to tech on how to handle hard times. Doesn't that say it all? <laughs> while, while, while he's also partnering with Apple, right. as you talked about. Right. Uh, interesting. Uh, day two, of course, we'll uh, continue to cover it uh, as the sessions uh, go on. Sarah, for now, though, back to you.